ever since I released my book, I Complete Me, I have a constant stream of clients wanting to learn about self-love. They've read the book. They agree that self-love seems important. But, and this is a big one, they have this burning question. If I love myself first, isn't it selfish? How do I know if it's selfishness or self-love? This episode is a start on the series of self-love and how not to confuse it with selfishness. Hi, I'm Sheila and this is Lumia 24. Light on! When you are on a flight, if you have paid attention to what the flight attendant is saying, you will hear this one clear instruction. In case of an in-flight emergency, oxygen mask will fall from above. Pull the mask towards you and put it on your face first before you help your child or any other dependent. Logical, isn't it? You can help another only if you are alive and able. If you are limping, you will be a poor support to another who is limping too. If you don't treat yourself with kindness and joy, you cannot treat others with kindness too. Love is inside out. Before you go looking for it in pubs, office places or on dating apps, check in with yourself inside. In an outside seeking world, we believe that our happiness comes from something external. The roses our partner gives us, the new car, the new bag, the vacations, the number on the weighing scales. And when you hear statements like look within, you're confused. You really have no GPS to find this place called within. So that's what we'll talk about here. We'll talk about what self-love is not. You don't say I will love myself when I get richer, slimmer, married, whatever. Self-love begins with accepting yourself as you are, flaws and all. It's not a disregard for others, but rather knowing that you have found that sweet spot where you can be comfortable with yourself or with who you are without needing approval of anyone else. Hint, what you see in others is a reflection of what you have in yourself. You may have met that person who was stuck up, cocky or made you feel that he was better than everyone else. Usually, those people are insecure and alone and always looking for approval and external validation. That's the thing about selfishness. It's doing what you please regardless of how you hurt or trample people. Walking all over people to get ahead or never apologizing for your disregard is selfishness. Self-love is open, honest and accepting. The person who truly loves himself or herself has nothing to prove. When you're lashing out and trying to defend your action, you're acting out of fear and insecurity. You are trying to prove your worth. Real love has nothing to hide or prove. Like they say, if you don't want to be a doormat, get off the floor. People who genuinely love themselves know how to say no. They know how to set boundaries. They know how to speak up for themselves and ask for what they want. They take time to find balance and joy. If you're watching this video, you are definitely on the right path. Don't worry about what people say. Usually, it takes time for others to accept the change in you. And when they say you have changed, it just means that you have stopped living their way. Shrug and move on. Remember, we are here to grow and learn. Like Robert Tew says, respect yourself enough to walk away from anything that no longer serves you, grows you or makes you happy. So what are the challenges you have faced in loving yourself? Or are you still struggling with the concept? Write to me, share your thoughts. I would love to hear from you. Please share and like this video with someone who could benefit by it. You never know which spark lights a candle. Spread the love, folks. <laughs>